Last year, I took on a dream ride, completing the Etape de Tour Sportive on the route of stage 19 of the Tour de France. This year, I'll take on more riding challenges, but on a dream bike, a bike built entirely from parts available from the Chain Reaction Cycles website. So I've chosen the frame, fork and group set, now it's onto the wheels. I guess the biggest decision to make was whether to go for carbon or aluminium wheels. There are many aluminium wheels available these days which are on par with the cheapest carbon wheels, offering a balance of lightweight, good handling and aero performance. I used a pair of aluminium wheels at last year's Etape de Tour and they served me pretty well up the brutal climbs. Carbon wheels deliver stiffness, lightweight and superior aerodynamics, boosting acceleration and speed. On carbon wheels there are two different rim designs, named after their cross sections. There's the box section type rim and deep section rim, which is used for superior aerodynamics. The deep section rim has a number of advantages. It's stronger and stiffer, meaning less spokes can be used to build the wheel and its aerodynamic profile provides a speed advantage by reducing drag forces. However, the major disadvantage of deep section rims is that the steering and handling can be impaired while riding in a crosswind. The deeper the rim, the worse the effect. Taken to extreme by disc wheels like this, which are generally only used indoors or in flat, calm conditions. For the dream bike, I've gone for these. A pair of Zip 202 Firecrest carbon clinchers. They're super lightweight, durable and have a shallow enough rim that they won't be affected by the crosswinds on my local rides. The Zips are a do-it-all road wheel that offer instant acceleration and they love to climb, even if I don't. The braking is strong, offering plenty of modulation and the brakes are dependable even in the wettest of conditions which will likely to be experienced no doubt over the next few months. Of course the best wheels are no good without a decent pair of tyres so I've gone for these Michelin Power Endurance built specifically for sportive riding. For more on the power range and our visit to Michelin click on the link. I can already tell these carbon wheels are going to make a big difference to my riding this year. But what would you choose for your dream bike? Let us know in the comment section below.